Hey, this is Chuck with Metal Wadi, and I'm talking with Chris Howarth from In This Moment. How you doing, man? I'm doing awesome, man. Thanks for having me today. Yeah, thanks for coming on, man. Hey, so the new album, Ritual, releases in a few weeks. It features some of your darkest and most stripped-down material to date. Now, you guys are a, a band that features a lot of theatrical elements in your music and bringing your live show and visual elements, you know, to a whole new level. What led you to the decision to write a more raw and organic-sounding album? Um, and do you think that will be the future direction for the band? Um, as far as the future direction, it's really hard to say. We kind of just fly by the seat of our band and don't really have a, a set plan or whatever when we're, you know, going in or whatever, or what the future of the band's going to be. Yeah. We kind of just kind of see how we're feeling at the time. And, and this time it wasn't really like we were going to try to make a more stripped down album. I know people have been saying stripped down and it definitely has a lot less of the kind of campy, you know, and I'm, I'm not dissing on any of our old stuff, but just yep. a little bit more serious. And when I say trip down to, I guess, well, a way to describe it is before we would write the songs and not think about how they were going to be live. We wouldn't even care. It was just about writing the best song with the most coolest stuff, push the boundaries. And this time we were kind of like, as we were doing it, we're like, we're going to be playing this song live. We know we're going to play this one live. Right. Let's, let's make it a good live song, too. So let's, let's think about the guitars more. What, what are they going to be? It just kind of lent itself to being a little bit more organic, I guess, in that sense, once we started doing that, you know, just thinking about the songs being played live. Yeah. Before we were, while we were writing them versus after they're done, then trying to make them a live song. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It definitely has that kind of live feel. Yeah, more than, more than our past two albums, for sure, man. It's yeah. definitely, which I think our fans are, are going to like, you know, they like, they like that little bit of that rawness. You know, I guess it's more like uh, like blood than it is Black Widow, I guess, if you had to pick a, right. a way to describe it. So it seems like there's some cult elements tied up into the theme ritual. You know, is there a story behind the title? Um, does it translate into the, the music that's contained within the album? Yeah, you know, the title kind of goes with the, the music and the lyrics in the album, and there's not really a specific story. Um, it's more of just kind of a, I don't know, looking at everything, you know, the religious, how big religion is in the world and yeah. spirituality in general. And it's not really picking a specific religion. It's just kind of going overall, but it just has those elements throughout the whole thing. And that's why the, the name ritual took the fit so good. And, you know, Maria was really feeling this, you know, she's a very spiritual person mm -hmm. and she's not necessarily, you know, religious, like going to church religious, but she's also not, you know, into all this witchcraft stuff. She kind of just likes it all and, and believes openly. And, and, you know, that's why it's kind of touching on all these different, you know, topics of religion and stuff. Yeah, it's cool. Um, so you guys covered uh, Phil Collins in the air tonight. And I got to tell you, it takes my breath away. Um, it truly feels like it truly feels like the band wrote this song. Um, it's definitely one of the darkest arrangements of that song I've ever heard. Um, what led you to the, the decision to cover that that song? And did you guys reach out to Phil or his team? You know, when you're deciding to do it. Well, you got kind of got to get there, okay? Yeah. Um, when you do it, but but we were actually looking to do a cover, and we went over a bunch of songs. You know, and in the air has always come up. We love it, but one of our guidelines is always: can we make this cover better, or can we update it somehow to make it? better than the original you know cause a lot of old songs kind of the production is is you know not outdated or whatever yeah. but in this case we're like this song is a masterpiece you yeah. can't make a phil collins song this song particularly better than it is already right, right. so we were thinking we weren't going to do it but it, we just kept coming back to wanting to do it we love the song so much and the whole idea was let's take it let's make it our own thing let's, let's make it darker maria wanted it to be haunting and and, and almost spooky and and eerie and then the big moment was, you know, when the drum fill uh, comes in, the iconic drum fill he does on the original song. Yeah. How are we going to do that, you know, <laughs> without copying what he's doing exactly? And we just tried to make it a sonic ear blast of, of heavy guitars and stuff. I think I think it's cool, man. It's, yeah. it's definitely a good tribute to that song, and we put our own spin on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really cool, man. Um, so Black Wedding... Um, Features, you know, the, the legendary Rob Halford. Um, 
it's a track that is seems to be heavily influenced from uh, Billy Idol's White Wedding. Uh, even seems to have a little bit of that same mel- melody in the chorus. Was that something that was intentional? Yes, I guess. I mean, it wasn't like we were like, we're going to do uh, White Wedding, but when we were writing the song, that chorus, the Black Wedding chorus was just like so good. And we were like, obviously, we realized this, this sounds a lot like White Wedding, even though physically it's different and everything else. But the general, it's a nice night for, uh, you know, it's yeah. like, obviously that's really idol. So we knew that was there, you know, and but we didn't care. We were like, we're going to do this. We <laughs> had to get clearance from him. He's cool with it. Uh, to, to me, the rest of the song bears no resemblance to that. Yeah. That song is just the chorus. Yeah. Um, and then getting Rob Halford involved is basically, you know, we're, we're, we're just doing the lyrics, and she's, it's almost like a duet, but she's singing to herself with the mother and the priest, and, you know, we're like, Rob Halford is, is the priest. <laughs> he would be the coolest dude ever to have on this song. And, you know, he, we began for him a couple of years ago. You know, he, he actually expressed interest in our band and came to see us. Oh, cool. It blew our minds, you know, completely. We were like, oh my God, I can't believe it. You know, he's really going to come see us. And he actually did come see us. That's awesome. Um, we kind of became friends with him from that point. And, you know, he's been super influential to us. And even Maria, you know, as far as he's always been into the theatrics with the whips and the bike and all this stuff. And, um, when we were doing the song, we was like, I'm going to see if Rob's interested in doing that. So we turned to him and he jumped right on it. And it's, it's so cool to have him on the song with us, man. Yeah. How, how was it to have him there uh, working on that? What was that like? Well, unfortunately we weren't there when he was there. It oh. was right at the end. So we had done all of our parts and we left and he came in like two days later and tracked his parts with Kevin. Oh, cool. So we didn't actually get to hang out with him when he did it, but yeah. you know, we saw pictures and, <laughs> He's actually worked with our producer Kevin before. He did that uh, Five Finger Death Punch song. Oh yeah, with him. yeah. So he knew Kevin, and it was real, real easy. Such a pro, man. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Um, so, at, you know, after you're listening back on the album, um, what are your thoughts on how it turned out? Um, do you do you have favorite parts that you hope that the listeners will pick up on? Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's such a mental, you know, mind blowing thing when you're trying to write an album and you know, that you're so self critical of everything. Yeah. And you listen to everything so many times you almost lose sight of anything. Mm-hmm. Um, but after having sat with it and, and everything, I really, really like it. I feel like our fans are really gonna like it. I think it delivers a little bit more of what our fans want and you know, some of my favorite tracks are, are roots, obviously it's one of the Free tracks people are just getting, which I, I'm really happy about because I love that song. And, uh, you know, I can't wait for people to hear Black Wedding. Um, and I think there's just a lot of other songs, too, that our fans are really going to take deep and, and get into. So I'm stoked on that. Awesome, man. So uh, your first tour supporting the album um, was dubbed the Half God, Half Devil uh, tour. And so the first uh, leg, you guys had Motionless and White, Avatar, and Gemini Syndrome. Um, this leg that's coming up or that you guys are on right now, you have Star Set, you're doing some shows with Vimic and A Little Miss Nasty on the second leg. Um, the title, you know, of the tour stems from that pivotal track that's on the new album. Um, you guys have played quite a few new songs on the tour, like Rivers of Fire, Witching Hour, and Oh Lord, but you haven't played Half God, Half Devil. So... Are you holding that off for something special, or was that just a decision Man, to keep you gotta it out? Ask Maria. I would love to play that song. <laughs> I think it's awesome. You know, she kind of, she has to be feeling it, man. And I yeah. not that she's going to feel the song, but for whatever reason, she's not wanting to put that in the live set right now. And we're still just kind of figuring it out, you know what I mean, with what we're going to do live. Mm-hmm. We're doing Witching Hour right now, but we're not even sure if we're going to leave that in. You know, and we're kind of thinking, well, we should have done Roots because it's, it's one of the grad tracks and the, the fans are really digging it. You know, we're not playing that one right now. Yeah. So it's just kind of up in the air. But I, I really hope to play Half God, Half Devil. I think it's a great track, man. I'm, I'm really stoked on that one. Cool. And, and so uh, what is what goes into the thought press as far as, like, picking up the set list for you guys? Well, it's more complex than your average band because every song has – you know, as of right now, every song has its own thing that happens. You know, uh-huh. it'll be a look change. And honestly, Maria is starting to shift a little bit, I think, and, and we might be seeing a little bit less of the rigidity of, of each song having its own thing. I mean, for this tour coming up, it's still probably going to be like that, but 
we basically have to think about what songs we want to play and then what the stage is going to look like, what outfits Maria's going to wear, what kind of choreography she's going to do with the dancers, yep. you know, how it's all going to play together. So it's much more in depth. And obviously we have our old songs, you know, that are singles that our fans want to hear. Um, so we're thinking about those. And then we also want to try to play new stuff because we want to play something new. And we're trying to think what would the fans like and also what, you know, do, do we like? And does Maria want to, want to sing to the crowd? And, yeah. you know, factoring all that in is how we come up with it. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We figured out while we're out there. Right. A lot of the time. Cool. So, are there any tracks on uh, from Ritual that you haven't played live that you feel would translate uh, well into a live setting, or that you're just like super excited to play live? Well, I think Half God, Half Devil would be great live. I think uh, Joan of Arc would be a great live track. Oh, yeah. Uh, Roots, we're not playing any of those. You know, I think all of those would be great. You know, Maria was feeling like Witching Hour. That's why we're playing it now. It's a really different track for us, but she was really wanting to try that live, so we were playing that one the last two shows. And You know, obviously, I think Black Wedding is going to be a single, and so we're really excited to play that. Cool. So is there uh, a favorite part of the uh, Half God, Half Devil tour so far? Well, I think on the last leg, you know, we hadn't been out for uh, almost six months that we've been away, and we had that, that powerhouse lineup, and it was so cool because we were just selling out shows left and right, you know. And you can't always do that, but right. that was our, kind of our first experience with that, man. And we, you know, get to the venue, and then, oh, it sold out. <laughs> Same day or whatever. It's just a cool, cool feeling, man. Awesome. Uh, is there any particular dates you're really looking forward to on the, on the second leg? Um, I'm looking forward to all of them. You know, we're, we're playing some great places. Uh, we're playing this little farm out in West Virginia called Shiley Acres. It's kind of like a daytime evening show. It's almost like a festival, but they have bands every year. That's, that's a really cool vibe, you know. Yeah. Um, there's some great venues on the East Coast we're playing. I'm, I'm looking forward to all of it, man. Awesome. So, uh, so since the, the announcement of Ritual, um, You've released the, the music video for Oh Lord, and there's also the lyric video, video for Roots. Um, what else can fans expect to see um, before the release of the album on July 21st? I think the next track coming down the pipe is um, in the air tonight. Oh, cool. And awesome. there'll be like a lyric, a lyric video for that. And then that's the last free track, you know, that uh-huh. the free order people get. Yep. And then, you know, then it's the album. Awesome. And so when you uh, do the release, are you going to throw in any like uh, B-sides or anything special or maybe do a little extended package later? We use, there's 11 songs on the album and we have 12 songs. There is one extra song uh-huh. uh, sitting around and I'm not sure what they're going to do with it yet. As of right now, the plan is just to release the 11 songs and, you know, see how it goes. And we're working on a new video for our next single, which I'm not going to say what it is yet. Okay. <laughs> You can probably guess. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. So, Chris, I, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us. Thank you, man. Thanks for your time, brother. Appreciate yeah. it so much. Yeah, have fun on the tour. <laughs>